Hello, Jurassic Park uh, in 3D is over. Sorry if it's a little dark, but it is 9.30. Um, I like the film. I found myself generally enjoying it. Um, it's a bit rainy outside, so... I wonder if I did this. Um, well, kind of. Oh, this one's dead. Wonderful. Um, things you learn about your car. But... Uh, I generally found myself enjoying the film. Whoops. Add this up a little. Um, the CGI, you know, the 3D, um, made the... Let me start this sentence over. The, the 3D made the CGI, at times, look a bit cheap. And that is something I can't say is a nitpick about Jurassic frickin' Park. You know, that was, uh, Steven Spielberg directed, or produced it. Yeah, that actually does help. Wow. Um, you know, and it has some of the best animation that holds up today. Um, you know, it was made, it was made a long time ago. It was made in like the 19, I want to say 1996, I think. Um, sorry, I'm just going to start my car here so it gets a little warmer in here. The lights kicked in. That's that's okay. Um, but I did. Uh, I found myself enjoying the film, as I've said. Uh, it's a good popcorn muncher. Uh, if you've seen uh, Jurassic Park before, uh, I do say this is worth a admittance, just to see that the 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 the, 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 the difference um, in non CGI, non three D, and actually three D. Uh, tech. It's actually quite uh, fascinating because the 3D, like in Finding Nemo, uh, gave it depth. It it gave it you know that sense of you, know, you could reach into the world. But there were a couple of the jump scares um, in Jurassic Park that I found myself actually like. Ugh. Uh, the raptor scene was one of them. Which, I wish I had somebody else we could be doing, like, a midnight screening. But, um... No, I, I enjoyed the film. I thought it was a, uh, a great film. Um, one that I actually need to get on Blu-ray and DVD. Uh, Blu-ray DVD. But I actually haven't picked it up yet. No matter it's cold. I don't have any conditioning. Um... As I said, the CGI is downgraded a little bit because of the, CG, uh, the 3D effects. But not to the point where it's not crappy. There were a couple scenes. And I'll just touch on this briefly. I think she was waiting for me. Um, there were a few scenes that I was like, oh. You know, I could definitely tell the actors were in front of a green screen. But that's just because of the... 3D effects, and it was a rather good effect for the most part. Um, you know what can you say about Jurassic Park? That already hasn't been said like a thousand times. Sorry, I'm trying to get something out of my pocket. There we go. Um, you know it, it, it's it's very good. Sorry. Um, yeah, but it it was rather good. It, why do I keep doing that? It was very good. Um. Again, it's Jurassic Park. You know, not one of your CG CG movies that fakes the 3D effects. No, this was shot on regular video and converted into uh, CGI, so it's kind of crappy. Um, I don't really want to give a synopsis of the film because it's already been done a million times. But... If you haven't seen Jurassic Park in a long time, um, I'd say it's worth a watch. I noticed a few uh, minor things. I don't know if they added to the original movie, like with deleted scenes and whatnot, but I did notice a few things, you know, just a few sentences um, that I did notice before watching the original Jurassic Park. Um, but other than that... 
Uh, can't really say too much about the film itself. Um, but yes, stay tuned for more uh, videos, uh, more midnight screenings, because I am actually taking um, somebody to a midnight premiere of both Iron Man 3 and Star Trek Into Darkness. Um, oh, the, the, the previews that we got. What did we get? Uh, let's see. We got Superman, which actually does look uh, pretty nice. We got the new Superman film. Uh, we also got, um, I think The Hangover Part 3 was another one. Um, Monsters University, which looks good. Um, of course, I'm a sucker for anything Monsters Inc. But... And I think that's it. It's kind of weird because my cinema only plays like three previews before, um, before showing the actual show. And then the cinema that's actually closer to my house shows nine TV ads and then 12 previews and then you finally get to the movie. This is ridiculous. Bloody ridiculous. You know, 15 minutes I get to drive up here. That's 15 minutes I'm sitting at the local theater, the local cinema, watching the flipping previews. You know, I'd rather watch three, get it done and over with, so we can get on to the actual film. But I digress. Um... I did find some generally laugh out loud bits in this film, um, but I, again, I'm a big fan of the the first and third. I'm not too big of a fan on the second one. Um, and there's a there's a InGen logo on the helicopter. I didn't notice that till tonight, which I thought was pretty good. Um, other things I liked about the film, um, basically, it's it's your horror, it's your horror dinosaur movie. If you want a good scare, I'd recommend this film. I really would. Oh, it's really raining out there. I can see it in the film. Like... Anyway, um, I'm going to go home, or at least try to. Uh, this has been Marktimus Prime with a review, a little bit of a late review, of... Uh... What did I just say? <laughs> uh, yes, Jurassic Park 3D... Hopefully, uh, I hope they do the rest of the films, because I would I would pay to see Jurassic Park in 3D. It's that good. Um, I'd go see it again. Probably not in 3D though. $14 uh, plus popcorn and a movie and uh, a drink. Mm. That's a bit expensive for my taste. But um, anyway, if you like this video, like it. Don't forget to subscribe, uh, comment, favorite do all that lovely stuff. Um, check out my buddy, um, yeah, my buddy, and I can't think of his name now, Denami. Name slipped my mind for a moment. Uh, check out Denami's channel. He's a great guy, really funny. Um, you saw him. No, you didn't. You didn't because it was in the after party. Um, he showed up to one of my after party on the live streams. He's a really great guy. I uh, appreciate it if you check him out. But, um, yeah, this is going to be me, done for now. I want to say thank you for tuning in. I'll talk to you later.